birthday podcast. Hey, birthday podcast. Birthday podcast. <laughs> You're happy. the birthday boy girl. Oh, what a treat. Birthday boy what a treat. girl. I'm so happy. Congratulations. <laughs> this is my only gift. No. What? <laughs> no dude, I feel like such a shitty, stereotypical white podcast boyfriend because it's like her birthday and I'm like, yo, babe, you mind if I record a little bit? I got to get a little recording in with it's my like, guy. Every woman's dream is just to be invited on their boyfriend's really small time podcast on their birthday. Well, she doesn't realize, you know, I bought all this equipment for us and brand new XLR cables, unappreciated. She didn't even notice. I was nervous for you guys to meet up because when she first saw you, she was like, he looks like some of the handsome guys I fucked in college. Oh, so I'm Jesus. like, uh-oh. Uh, Here hey, we go. Hey, you better not give each other any Easy. eyes. All right? I'm keeping an eye on you. Nah, I'm keeping an eye I, I, on you guys. I don't stand a chance anyway, man. You you guys are going to see seals and shit. Like, that's so Elephant cool. seals, bro. They're so fresh. I have They're definitely so fresh. never seen one in real life before. Only in pictures. Dude, I was blown away. This is like so dumb. I feel like I'm like Brian Fellows or like some uh, animal guy, but they're so much bigger than like you'd expect. They're like eight feet long, dude. And they're like a ton. What? They're dude, huge. Why didn't you post any elephant seal content? Dude, like, it I mean- sucks because like the f- as far away as you are, when you take pictures, it just doesn't do justice doesn't translate, it, at know. all, dude. Like they are such majestic beasts. They're They're much like you. Mm-hmm. Very majestic, very large, tall, yeah, extremely I, beautiful creatures. I had the same experience just recently. I was walking around. Uh, I was just going on a walk. Like, instead of going to the gym, I was like, I kind of want to get outside. I've been cooped up in my room. And I also hadn't had any, like, creative ideas in, like, a solid week and a half. So I was like, it probably would be good for me to get some some fresh air. And I did this lap in this park that's, like, down the street from me. And I saw fucking, like five different kinds of birds and including in florida we have these little burrowing owls that like stay, oh like, what they they nest in the ground i have pictures of them but when i tried taking pictures it was the same shit they look like these tiny little fucking things but i was like right up close to these little owls that are like this big and they just peek out of the ground and like look at you when you walk by dude they look insane but i know was like God damn, why can't I get a better fucking picture of these things? But I saw one of those. I saw my brain is rapidly racing, trying to make a joke about them burrowing into my ass. But I (laughs) I, I'm not there yet. It's still early. There's this there's a book that I had to read as a here. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. This will be for our video podcast watchers. Oh, dude, he looks fucking he looks like the Chad meme, but with an owl. (laughs) He's like, they're really cute. But uh. There is a book that like every Florida kid has to read basically in school at some point called Hoot. And it's about this like, have you ever heard of that? I literally, because I was going to bring this up when you mentioned the burrowing owls. I thought they were made up for the book. No, I had no idea that was real. I thought it was like something like "Eh, it's some owl that burrows like a mole. Well, this this was weird because I, I, I mean, I don't see them that much. But when I was just walking around in this park, they had all these little fucking designated areas like if you touch this we'll throw you in jail like that type oh of for shit. real yeah but there was like four different nests of them as i was like walking this this lap it was pretty uh pretty tight um, dude what if you know nest makes me think breast like a boob oh like a burrowing owl but like between i was just thinking about breasts. boobs but yeah you're see i should have done that and combined the two ideas i'm oh really okay stupid. yeah yeah, I uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. I think there's probably <laughs> there's probably a a spoof on Hoot that could be made for just like the people, the small boob. number of people. Yeah, boob. Yeah, boob. yeah ah, there we good. go, babe. I'm gonna need you to laugh a little bit more at my jokes so <laughs> people uh, it's like that people don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, Jazz's She's- not about it. She's a little shy, I think. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm anticipating the bit that was supposed to happen. Oh, uh, what more? Do you, no, this is what women don't no, understand. Not boob, the sunglasses. The sunglasses. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. I, I would. I, I got my shades. I got these glasses because they're actually magnifying glasses, and I, I what? put them. I put them on to see our haters because they're so small time <laughs> when i went to their profile they were so tiny that I, I was like oh let me get my readers on because i can't i can hardly see them they're so, Bro, so i think the haters are mad because of the rap song we just dropped which daff refuses to listen to and which you called you our haters really 
Yeah, I gave yeah, I gave Harris a bar, but oh, you referred no. to our haters as protozoa, <laughs> which I first of all, they're probably mad because they don't know what that word means. But second of all, if they do, I would be you know, extremely insulted. I uh, well, you know, I, I I know I don't know if you saw that Frank Jab C has COVID right now. He just posted about it. Oh, I didn't and, see that, um, dude. Damn. Yeah, I he he posted it, and I hadn't actually spoken. I follow we follow each other, but we hadn't spoken since we recorded the thing. And when he posted that he had a positive COVID test, I replied to it and I was like tested positive for stacking bread to the ceiling. And then he and, and then we just had a little conversation and he ended he, he quoted the protozoa thing. Like he's he made oh, some he? mention of that. Yeah, no, he's, he's a cool guy. We had like a little back and forth. Um, Dude, he's cool. He puts up with all my stupid ideas. I just sent him a clip from this old Game Boy game called Fortress of Fear that I'm trying to get a beat sampled on. I'm sorry, babe. You can't stop us from dropping hot bars and raps. It's just going to happen. <laughs> it does. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. He's always like, no, this is a good, this is a good idea. You can do it. You can do it. But uh, Dude, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. He sent me some shit. I didn't realize that he also raps. And so he sent me something while we were, while we were texting that was him spitting I'm assuming on a beat that he produced himself as well. And I was like, dude, this guy, dude, I name. felt like a jackass. Cause I didn't know that either, or that he even did beats when we first talked. And then when I mentioned it and I was like, Oh, you can make me beat," And he's like, dude, that's like, that's why I got my blue check Mark. Like, I feel like I, I've been following yeah. him for like two years and I had no idea. There's some people I'm just like, yo, this guy looks cool. I'm following him. You know is what he, I mean? Is but, he blue check? He's blue check Mark. I think he's blue checked. Yeah. He's blue checked up. I was going to do a bar about it, but then I was like, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't think of a word that rhymed with blue. I was struggling very bad. What's up, I, babe? You're, uh, you're being silent. You, you have anything to comment on this? I know. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> We've just been going back and forth so much. We can't even let Daft get a word in. The, uh... Dude, those are like the fucking, it literally looks like you mugged Usher. Those don't actually <laughs> magnify things, do they? No, no, no. They're, okay, they're I'm actually, so stupid. Okay. They're, that was part of the bit. They're, they're, <laughs> they're blue blockers. So they're actually like... They're, I don't know if here if you can see through the thing, but they're like, whoa, you're orange now. Yeah, everything looks really orange when you put them on, and if you're outside, especially, you're like, whoa, dude, it's like I'm in a fucking surfer movie, dude. They're fucking dope. Dude, I, I remember I, when my dad got a pair. He was like, <laughs> dude, the basic concept of sunglasses. No, no, no they like <laughs> change shit. Like, cause my dad got them because when like it's raining really hard in Pennsylvania, he can't see, but he puts those on, and it's like you can see clearly. It's like it enhances your vision a little bit. Blue blockers. Oh, you know what, baby? It's your birthday. I'm going to get you a pair. Computers. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. What's up? I think the blue blockers are the ones for computers. No, those are like you can get glasses that are for that. I think they don't do any color alteration, but they're supposed to they ease your eyes or whatever. ease your eyes. I think yeah, that's yeah. kind of a crock of shit anyway. Like, I don't know if that actually does. Dude, I bought thing. one and I was like, this is amazing. And then I stopped wearing them. I always do that, dude. I'll find <laughs> something and I'm like, this actually has changed my life for the better. And then I'll be like, yeah, I'm done with it. I'm fucking done, yeah. whatever. Bro, can you that, tell that, that uh, I think I got it much worse than Daphne, but we are... I, I, I can definitely see very you guys bad. Like roasty toasty. Yeah, Roasted and toasted, bro. What do you guys have planned for the rest of the day uh, for the birthday? Well, she's got a very special dinner that I'm taking her to, which mm -hmm. I forgot to bring a button down shirt for. So hopefully we don't get thrown out. Um, which also I had to make you make reservations for. And I had to yes. pick the restaurant. You had to what? And I had to pick the restaurant. She had to pick the restaurant because the one I picked <laughs> wasn't uh, yeah. the one I had picked out. I totally forgot, and we ate there two or three times already. So it was like, oh, yeah, babe, the one I have planned, we've already been to. And she was like, that's, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not I fucking know. go I, there. But uh, you know what? I, I I did. It was my girl's birthday also, like, uh, not too long ago. Oh, no, it wasn't. And it wasn't a birthday. It was our it was our one year, the anniversary. And I wanted to pick I wanted to, I had the same issue. I wanted to pick a restaurant for us to go to. And I picked this place. And I was like, oh, we've never been here. Like, I think this sounds good. And I and I was going to surprise her. And she was like, so where are we going to dinner? I was like, it's a surprise. And she's like, no, no, just tell me. And I was like, oh, we're going to this place. And she's like, no, nah, I don't want to go there. Let's make a reservation <laughs> of this other place. Dude, my chick okay. does that same thing where I'm like, oh, I'm going to surprise her. And then I can tell that she's not going to like it. So I do tell her. And then she's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to come in and fix this a little bit. Yeah. But uh, uh, dude, this is, this is the first time you guys are meeting. I thought you'd be, you know, Harris is famous. He's on the Cold Cuts podcast. 
I thought I'm you'd be famous. like kind of like star. I'm used to that level of fame. I know. Hey, that's true. Hey, she's rolling that's with true. the big dog now. That's baby. right. Baby. Uh, I got this right along with you. Yeah. That, yeah. So the uh, maybe I'm famous. There was a, an angry guy dissing us. Or yes. I didn't even watch it yet. I feel bad. But uh, I don't think we should say his name because <laughs> it's like I do. Well, not... I can't even pronounce it. It's written in like homo. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, wait, come on. Come on. It's, I really was like. Dude, it, the th- here's the thing. Well, I want I want to hear what your guys' opinion is of it. But when he was talking shit, I was like, "Bro, can you not like recognize that your entire audience already knows who Yolo Swag and his girlfriend are? Like, you don't even have to say who they are. If we talk about you on our podcast, we're doing you a fucking favor because I can. Be I like, know. Yes. Oh, there's I this. Re- there's like this really small time like animator on on Twitter, and he has like a couple thousand followers, but he's like said really mean things about me. It's like, dude, <laughs> like blow me. I don't yeah, fucking know yeah, who yeah. you are. <laughs> like, are you kidding me, dude? I uh, I mean, my whole my whole synthesis in my brain. That's not the right use of the word synthesis, but my whole take on it is like. If I was much more earlier in my career, I'd definitely be angrier and like try to strike back. But it's kind of like he, you know, he used to work on Comedy Central, Mm -hmm. talented, at least at a technical level. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He blows me out of the water, at least on a technical level. If I was him, say I'm him and I'm suddenly like racist and angry. And then (laughs) some guy comes out of nowhere who's younger than me literally can't draw at all and just gets a ton of positive attention like i'd be pissed too like i'd be like yo fuck this yo this is bullshit like fuck this guy like i totally understand why he might be a little his panties might be in a twist you know what i mean but i also feel bad shit talking him too much because i do you know by proxy i don't don't feel bad at all total fag i can say that right baby who cares okay (laughs) but uh his i i do his girlfriend is very talented i'm assuming by proxy she probably hates me now too and uh but she's talented she's cool i love her art so it's kind of like if i say i the word pity is what i'm feeling that's very douchey and it's not quite pity but it's in that vein of like Dude, I just feel like he's like a little cat and I'm a big, dumb golden retriever and I've just come bounding into the room and I'm licking everything and everyone wants to pet me and he's hissing. You know what I mean? I uh-huh. think you might be giving yourself a little too. You don't. Ha- I have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be giving yourself a little too much credit. First off, and second, I don't get what his Even girlfriend real. has to do with anything. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, true. But it's like I. Yeah, I guess that doesn't matter. But she is, I do have to say, I wasn't going to mention this, but she is goaded with the jugs. I feel like that might also play into why I'm kind of like. Uh, dude, if they're if they're listening to this, which they probably are, because like you know we're 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 big <laughs> time. That? Like we're Boy, look at no, 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 no. look at Harris let me, let me and say. tell me no one's listening. Look at this man. Look Listen, at this man. I I know that you guys are listening right now because we're cool. Like we're cooler than you, and you, we don't. I watched five. I watched five minutes of your thing, and I was like, eh, I get the idea. You guys are watching this whole episode, and that's that's fine. To to this guy's girlfriend. I'm not familiar with your work. Nice I don't jugs. know who you nice are. I, I was <laughs> nice jugs. I was I was shocked when Zach told me that this guy had a girlfriend because he looks like he could star in a rec in like in an erectile dysfunction commercial. But I I I would say to this girl, sweetie, get out of this right now. <laughs> like you, you th- this guy is going nowhere. Like I I think his whole mo is just to say edgy like inflammatory shit and the the. The, the edgy humor thing to me is like so old hat. Like, are we still doing this shit? Yeah. Are, are we still but doing that? That's the, the thing, because I think Daph wants to tell me to be less edgy. But there, uh, to no, me, there's a difference between. No, 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 I don't. But you label yourself that way. I'm you edgy are, and cool. Like, you are like borderline normie. And you oh, think don't, that da- don't dare call thing. me borderline normie. <laughs> you know what? Get off this. Be booted from the pod. <laughs> booted from the pod. Yeah. But dude, to me, there's a difference between edgy humor and then the thing he got canceled over. Because, dude, he used to work for Comedy Central, apparently, as like a big animator. But then he posted big this thing that's whoop. like. <laughs> Who cares? Dude, you know what people. He doesn't anymore. Kung flu. What's that? Because you know the COVID virus, they're calling it Kung Flu because it was like Asian. It originated in Asia. It was like, you know, to me, that's funny. But then he took it to where like (laughs) 
he animated COVID and it's just this buck tooth like I don't know. I saw- and it's like, dude, why did you what think are you doing? that was gonna blow? Like, why did you think that was a good idea, dude? And I just remember everyone in the comments on Twitter when it was like happening, because his girlfriend was like trying to defend him and was like, You guys just don't understand him. He's soft and he loves people, but like I remember him responding to people like, fuck you, N-word. Like anyone who was trying to like call him racist. Dude, it was like, it, oh, great move, bro. That's excellent. That's yeah, excellent. I, you know, we, we've kind of had this back and forth off camera about just like edgy humor shit. And it's like my I'm not even a prude. Like I, I do think that some humor that's edgy is funny. But so many of these com- comedians that are like edgy humor focused have completely forgotten that they're supposed to be funny like there's supposed to be a humor element to it and if you're not funny there's nothing it requires no skill whatsoever to just say something that's like offensive i mean anybody yeah, and it's like dude that. if i wanted to see the n-word i would just go on twitter and like, like scroll for two I would seconds just, so. i would just say it myself and i do yeah sometimes. <laughs> I don't hear it. but it's like it's like dude i mean like that that shit is so stupid to me and it's just it, like get some new fucking material i i think there is room maybe for somebody who's very talented to make edgy humor that is funny but i don't see anybody doing it right now i just don't i mean nick fuentes goaded with the sauce i mean if, fan of the pod no no <laughs> if nick fuentes is like a giant andy kaufman bit and he's then he is fucking goaded edgy comedian but i don't think it's Dude, someone posted a clip the other day and it was so funny because it was it was one of his audience members like, um, you know, you know, the Sam Hyde guy. I do. Yeah. He's working on some sort of RPG. And one of Fuentes' fans like during the show was like excited about it and was like, oh, it'd be so like they should put you in the game and you can have like an America first move. And you could tell even Nick Fuentes was like that's so cringe like i think he's slowly <laughs> realizing yeah he's kind of built an army of like very cringy because it's weird because in that group you're either like 14 15 years old in which it's like uh, dude at that age it's easy to like fall into like yeah saying the n-word is the pinnacle of humor like with no joke but it's either that type of person or like a 50 year old man who's like looking up to someone who's 22 as like their hero and it's like both of those groups of people as your fans are like not it's not good not good i, I like, think you 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 used some analogy or some story I, i'm gonna butcher it right now but the you, filipino one yeah i think it was a filipino one and you were talking about um somebody like like a you know there you got this wise man who's like a very talented artist and then getting no recognition and then they start oh they start making dumb jokes and they all of a sudden all these dumb people start gathering around them and they get all this like celebrity all of a sudden because there's all these dumb people gathering but now like a year or two passes and they are just surrounded by dumb people because they're they're just making shit that's stupid and it's like i see the same shit with this fucking edgy comedian shit where it's like you're making these like really low-hanging fruit stupid jokes because you're grasping at straws to try to stay relevant but the only people that are following you are fucking neurodivergies yeah and yeah like just babies like a chimpy monkey brains little chimpy monkey brains like well dude we can't all be gifted with the audience of cold cuts podcast who if you're listening now we're we're like family you're Mm -hmm. listening to us we're like family Take my girlfriend, you know, I you totally free to use. That's how close we are. You mm-hmm. don't mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love the Nardwar thing going on that you're just like sticking the mic in, the, in her face. Uh, and she's so frustrating to record with sometimes, especially when we had the shitty mics, because like they had to be like at a certain place. And oh, yeah. she would so just it was my lean. fault that we had shitty mics. Yeah, babe, you're built like a giraffe. You could easily wrap your head like over and like fucking stick it closer. Yeah, but it hurts my. <laughs> Stop doing that. I, I I did j- just because you posted uh Daff's at on your story is the first time that I saw her. I just fo- I just followed. What were you her doing with her Instagram. pictures? No, it was just I saw. What were the you picture. looking at her pictures for? <laughs> a, I saw the picture of you two, and I was like, God damn, Daff is so much taller than you. I don't know if <laughs> you guys. To be fair, in a lot of the pictures, she's like, 
you should crouch a little yeah it'll be funnier and i'm like i haven't never why would i need you to do that please can i pull up just the one photo that i was like yeah i'm so glad you said that because i thought you were gonna be like god damn zach used to be so much thinner which is also true but i just i didn't need to hear that i didn't that may be part of it too let's see here wait it's the one it's just here i think that you guys are Oh, I also didn't know that you, um, oh yeah, this one is like, I was like, yeah, damn. Here the- <laughs> That's the classic one, dude. I love that. I one. Wanna, it's funny the way that it's framed. It also just looks like a prom photo kind of, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, but I also saw it. I didn't realize that you were such a talented, um, musician. Is this the ass one? Violin. Oh no. I almost sent you that one, but there, you know how that guy did the edit with your, um, paranormal activity one? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did that song playing violin, but naked with my ass out. I, I'm, I thought you were going to pull that one up. To my, to my I figured you would have as a big fan of me. <laughs> Do we have any napkins nearby? I got to blow my nose. I'm leaking. Oh, Jesus. All right, Daph, entertain. I'm going to go grab a napkin. Okay. Don't oh, talk about me. It's not allowed. Okay. Well, what are we <laughs> supposed to talk about? Not- Is this the first time that you guys have recorded a podcast? When, when was the last time that you guys recorded oh, uh, wild, Sissy dude. Hypno? I don't remember. It has been a, a while, but Maybe now that we months. got a new equipment and we're set up, I think the goal is I don't want to cut in on the cold cuts day because every Friday and Wednesday, but I mm-hmm. think the goal is every Friday. I think we might be able yeah. to pull something off. Me and you. Yeah. It's a little difficult because I have a real job. Um, <laughs> and, it's at night. Oh, <laughs> and, you never, yeah. and I never want to record in the morning. So. Well, so, yeah, sometimes she'll come home at like 11 or like 1030 and be like, all right, I'm ready to go. And I'm already just like, fucking so fried that i'm like please tomorrow no, please no. i mean also i i on the days that we record more than one podcast of which now there's been two times that there was the we recorded well not to lift the veil but we recorded the house of decline and uh the rusty, rusty podcast on the same day and that rusty one was like fucking four hours long i mean it was yeah that not, one went so it went long, so dude. long and it, it was like it was cool to have him on but it, it by the end of it my brain was like absolutely fried dude except dude, it's so funny i i'm not ripping on them at all but because i love these guys the thought cots thought cops yeah guy. that was fun but yeah, you yeah. had the same reaction to their kind of the way their show is set up, it's structured. I know. Staff had that same. I remember we looked at each other when they did that opening, like, oh, all right, let's play the thing. And then, hello, thought cop or whatever. It was kind of <laughs> yeah. just like, what the? I know. Heck? No, I it's, can't. Those guys were great. And they, and I, I interact with future them, guests, like, on, by the way. They yeah, were, oh, yeah. Guests. Dude, I love those. So it's all jokes, but like, it is funny that they're, they're opening thing is just they got that what's going on everybody and, and like and like the music and everything and i was like and we had it's also sensory ju- overload yeah we had just started doing the podcast also like w- you and i were still getting our sea legs doing the thing so yeah yeah it was very that was the first time i'd ever been on a podcast that was like they have and and that's not it's not even just the opening they have a very distinct like structure to their oh now we're gonna key to the city favorite thing yeah yeah dude i don't i don't want to brag but i i got you in there that was originally a yolo centric episode i said i know let me bring my buddy on i love him i I was very much i was very excited about that yeah and that, that was really fun and it was cool to meet those guys uh and i actually do think we could probably take something out of that playbook because like oh for yeah, I, it would improve things you, it we, probably yeah. we, you you and i like take fucking three hours to discuss the squizzy drama and it went and it, we literally only actually talked about it for like five minutes oh we when yeah it was just loops of like yeah i don't really care but then she did yeah. this but I don't really care. Yeah. It's just <laughs> so annoying that you are receptive to that criticism because that is the exact same thing that I said after we got off. Oh. I said, wow, they're way more professional than us. And it doesn't take them three hours to record a one hour podcast. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should take some Women, notes from them. Yeah. And but, you completely dismissed me. You said, no, it should have structure. No, it's just supposed it needs to be, to be like Comptown. What is it? What, it needs what is to the be word like that you always use? Seinfeld? No, 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 no. Irreverent. 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 That's, the word that's, irreverent. that's your word for being unprofessional. Well, dude, because I just think about it because yeah. it's like a podcast that I like is when it's like I feel like I'm in the room with people shitting. Not shitting. That's I feel like yeah, I'm in the room shooting. shooting the shit. Not yeah. shitting. They could be shitting. <laughs> they could be shit. shitting. But that's what I yeah. like. It's like, you know, it's the it's the parasocial, parasocial yeah. parasocial friendship simulator. That's what we're doing. But yeah. it would help, I think, to like <laughs> 
just, just. I regret yeah. bringing Daphne onto this episode. One just million like percent. a little bit. You know what? Uh, and, anyway. and also, just because we were talking about briefly the squizzy thing, I, I, it also made me think. Like, I was hoping if we, if I'm not like above our podcast having beef with another creator like i i don't mind if they have to another... be up to our level though you that's know what i'm that, saying yeah. like i want somebody in our weight class like if we're if we're talking shit about squizzy which we didn't really because we couldn't really be fu- even be fucked to like say anything of importance but it was like i wanted her to respond or something you know not not mm-hmm. that i think she ignored the whole thing anyway i, I don't know what there, there's any update on that but but that that i would have been like oh well, I think you know, that's why she hasn't come back to Twitter. She saw us come in and was like, how do I mess with these two guys? I think they're if too she's, powerful. I already had a tweet prepared, too, because if she said something, <laughs> I would have been like, what are you going to do? Abuse me? Or oh, uh, bro. The- <laughs> bro, I feel like that wouldn't have gone over well with the 10 no, 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 no. on Twitter. That's probably but, uh, not. That's a that's a what Patreon. Are you, yeah, <laughs> what are you going to do? Abuse me? Oh, geez. If uh, she's listening, there you go. But yeah, the, the yeah. dude who came after us earlier are just are well, us, I guess, me and Daff, which friend of the so podcast. Because I mentioned, yeah, friend of the pod, <laughs> Daff, friend of the pod. But you know, I mentioned earlier with how kind of like uh, angry he was about some stuff. Excuse me while I pick my nose with a napkin. Um, you know, I was joking that, you know, I thought he'd come after you a little bit for the Jewish stuff, but it yeah. seemed to be, yo, I have this shit about YOLO swag, I'm about to drop some shit. His girlfriend's so ugly. Like it was just, it was literally it was like, like Daft took the brunt of everything. I know. And everything, was, and, dude. And it was like just for for what? Like he okay, first of all, the <laughs> the he started almost like he was like, Oh, I'm about to expose YOLO swag. And that's then, is what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. And then it's like, dude, you're not exposing somebody if you only show clips that they posted to YouTube. <laughs> For real. Dude. Like, like For all real, of bro. the stuff that he showed was shit that you made available to the public. It's like, bro, what what and then he went straight to the transphobia thing and it's like, okay, buddy, like what what what, what do you what? Sad. at the risk of getting rusty in trouble again? I'm not going to go too into detail on this because I don't want to get Rusty in trouble, but he, you know, I I watched maybe like 10 seconds, but I think both of you mentioned that he was saying I was trying to get Rusty to talk ill of his friends or something. And that I took a card game from someone. Mm -hmm. I I don't know. I don't know know, what that means. I talked to Rusty about it and it was like, um, I, yeah, I, I'm still friends with Rusty and I'm, I think they might be a little confused, not Rusty, this other guy about where he stands um, on anything. That's all I'll say about that is I, I, Rusty and I are still homies, so I'm not. uh, He he was defensive of, I can't remember the name. The people who made the other cards are Urban Boar. I don't know. Urban Boar? What is it? (laughs) Urban Boar. Oh, yeah. This this trading card. First of all, dude, let me acknowledge my trading cards, hung women, semen come. Uh, arguably James. you could call them gay cards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nothing is gayer than a trading card game where you collect Ben Shapiro <laughs> and Amy Therese trading cards. That is literally so gay uh, and like, coming dude. from someone who clearly is like, yo, fuck trans chicks, fuck fags. It's like, dude, you created something that was gayer than anything I could <laughs> even live up to. Like you've given me a bar that I'm now trying to reach to be that gay. And I don't think I can ever get there. Right. Unless it's I just, do Ben Shapiro collabs. Dude. And, and also just the idea of like, wait a minute, you're selling art on tiny cards to your fans, but, but we were selling art on tiny cards to our fans. We had that idea first. It's like, bro. Well, that's the thing too, is after mine took off, that's well, when they started it. Well, so it's he like, only brought it up because he said, you said that they copied you correct which and they he's did he's like no you copied them that's oh, basically yeah. that's why his ooh, argument is there ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah i don't think you I don't got, know i mean i mean dude no, no no disrespect even to the yellow swag brand but you guys are all copying pokemon i mean none of you guys I take that back. i was going to take that i'm like <laughs> it's like like no, it's not like you guys had a oh 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 like let me just draw something on this dude, card I and mail it out who cards. fucking cares it's not even that good of an idea that the it took the guy three years to make that's, that's so a, embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's, she you said he's been working on it for three years. And I was like, dude, dude. literally, really? listen, yeah, if you're that on, guy listening on. right now, I'm going to be honest with you. Kill yourself. <laughs> I'm seriously. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not even saying it to be mean. 
it's just so constructive in, criticism. You're so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, literally killing yourself would be more of like an artistic <laughs> thing. Seriously. You know what I mean? Like yes. literally kill yourself. Uh, By the yeah, way, I, how does this always happen? I feel like we've been talking for five minutes and we already have the fucking know, warning the light fucking coming thing. on. I'm not gonna um, upgrade Zoom. Suck my dick. I'm not. I know. Gonna it, do both of us have shit. to pay for it though, or like, can one of I us? I think one. You know what? It. Once, once this pod starts being, once we make ten cents off of our ad reads on YouTube, oh, or whatever, yeah. we'll buy the Zoom Pro. We'll buy yeah. the Zoom Pro. But dude, I almost like this because we can put little like, you know, I put the rap song in between one of the segments. Mm-hmm. Although, yeah, I know. Again, I'm gonna force you to listen to it one day, but. You can't imagine me and Harris is ball and rap. As Look at soon us. as I hear your voice, I can't stand it. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> she was mad at how I was pronouncing uh, words like the Planet. planetarium. You said I was like pronouncing it not Planet. like a white guy. No, you no, you sound like you're imitating a white guy. <laughs> I am going, imitating a white guy. I'm Italian. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying right, to be yeah. white. I'm trying That's to work right. my oh, way in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sound like you're like making fun of Eminem. Almost. Listen, babe, I'll be. Je- I, d- I didn't want to <laughs> embarrass you in front of Harris, but if you're that jealous, I didn't give you a bar. You can have a bar oh, on no. the next oh, rap song. Oh, yes. You can have a bar on the next <laughs> rap song. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. I would love to have. You know, it's funny that. Um, you remember that Martina? I don't think Harris does, but that Martina Marcota chick. She's, she's like a, this right no. wing model. <laughs> I don't. I, I, back when I was like originally on Twitter and I was dropping raps, she was like, I was talking to her about like collaborating on one thing, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I could make like sex sounds or something for your rap." <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I don't know if I'm that at that <laughs> level right now where I need a woman like, uh, like yeah, yeah, moaning what? and shit. <laughs> In the background of my songs, but that's uh, like, uh, yeah, sex, yeah, yeah. I that's actually like kind of a pet peeve of mine. It's like sometimes, women, li- th- yeah, for sure, women, but also, <laughs> but also, like, if I'm listening to some, some rappers will have like a song that's just on their album or something that's like so overtly sexual that I'm like, oh, dude, it's like, I'm like. <laughs> like like I shouldn't Dude, be when listening it gets into to the, like, do this. Pussy drippy drip drops. <laughs> yeah, slip, literally. Slip, slop. And you make it sound like her pussy is a trough that a pig eats out of. I'm like, Dude, too much. Too, too. I know you love too pussy. Far. I get it. Too far. I, this is disgusting. This is vile. I have that issue with The weekend. I know that God bless him. He's like super famous now and he just makes pop songs. But for a long time, uh, uh, like, all, I, all, all the shit that he said, all the shit that he's saying about like coming up was just it's like, dude, we get it. You have had sex at least one time because it's at all least. you talk about. I mean, it it could only be one time. And he's just singing about the one time that he did it. It was just so dude, good. He seemed but, to me like a guy who who would like milfs. But, you know, we you know, Daff forces me. She straps me down and makes me watch. Housewives against my will. I've never uh-huh. watched that show on, on, on my will, but he was banging Gigi right when she turned 18, Bella. right? Bella. Oh. I always confuse them. Bella Hadid. Yeah, he uh, strikes me as a sexual predator. But he was but, also um, dating Angelina Jolie. You're crying, by the way. Am I? Mm. Oh, God. I was just so hurt by the way people made fun of you. Well, they said that you were such a misogynist, by the way, that um, you horseshoed into fucking a boy, um, me. Well, that's true. I hate. <laughs> yeah, is there, I um, hate women. <laughs> I find it interesting that they would even care about you being misogynistic. I, that didn't seem to me. I I didn't realize they would care. Listen, but they were like I can feminists. excuse I hating <laughs> Chinamen, but not yeah. women. Okay, that's <laughs> that, where yeah. I draw my line as an animator. It was. It was. Well, I was listening to the bit that he was talking about. He was going to expose you for being misogynist, which his ex, his exposing you was exposing the fact. That Daphne is trans. Which is, it's, it's, There's it's, it's something like, about okay. guys that come after me, and it's like they immediately go after Daph. It's almost like comical. Like I don't know how you feel about it. You probably feel like, I love it. Yo, friendly fire. Like what's going on? But uh, it's so funny that that's like a thing yeah. to to come after someone for. Like well, yeah. dude, I get it. I'm some dude. You know, when I was on that pod- podcast a while ago i was telling you about this i felt really uncomfortable he was talking about how i'm like a man's man and i'm really intimidating because of my masculinity and i really i know so goofy but i feel like a lot of guys like even him it's like they see me as this hyper masculine guy and they have this concept like no hyper masculine man would date a trans woman and then it's like i'm more masculine than they are i do date a trans woman and it's like i feel like whatever weird thoughts they have in their head just kind of implode like it kind of yeah. just like destroys everything. Yeah, I mean, he actually said that. That I'm masculine. 
Well, he, yes, that's what I he said. I heard he did a good voice he, impression he, of me. He did do a good voice impression. He also said, you're you're like a real guy's guy, and it would be really easy for you to get a girlfriend. I was like, that's a compliment, I guess. Um, and then he Is said, that what he said? I didn't yeah, catch that He said, that it'd be part. really easy for you to get a, a girlfriend, a real girlfriend. So uh, he didn't, he, he just thinks that you're fucked up in the head for not wanting that. I see. It, it's I just see. like, dude, if you just want to be our friend, just, just, there's a different way to I kinda, go dude, about I kind of get it. that. Dude, it's funny. He used to be a big fan because he would always like comment and I, like I on totally my stuff. And that. then yeah. as soon as I switched over into political comics that are like, you know, like the onion ones where it's like at face value, you think it means something else. But if you think about it for two seconds, you're like, mm -hmm. yeah. And I did one where it's like a black Asian guy whipping a white woman, calling her Karen, implying that Karen was the new N word. And he was <laughs> yeah. just like, this, this is fucked up N word. You're N word. Fuck you. And it's like, Dude, I, I think I'm on your side with like I think you agree with me that the Karen word is not bad. I think you're just Dude, dumb. The Karen word, you know what I mean? yeah, the, 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 the K, K word. word, the K word, yeah. <laughs> not ketamine. It, it it is it does it scares me sometimes because I'm not I'm not smart, right? A lot of shit goes over my head. Like I'm not a smart person, but then it scares me when I see people online that are dumber than me because then I'm like. Oh my God, man. Like, and especially if they have followers, that means those followers are even dumber than that person. It's just like, how did, how far it, down does it go? It, it plays into what you said earlier with like, I, I think it's a candide quote or it, it's unfactually contributed to him. How someone who makes dumb jokes will find himself surrounded by retards. That's what it was. That That's concept, what you said. But it's yeah. like, that, dude, I was the same way when I started out where it's like, dude, everyone following me knows I'm joking. It, you have to be literally retarded to mm -hmm. think I'm like being mean and it's like oh 50 percent of the people are retarded and thought I was being mean yeah you know what I mean it's like I, here another example of like somebody that's more in our Candide? like Candide, Candide the can, can, author well can no Candide, Candide was a is... book written by Voltaire that's what I Voltaire Voltorb okay. the Pokemon <laughs> Voltorb yeah it was written by Voltorb all right but before yeah. we start Harris what's the most important thing you can think of uh there's actually still two minutes left so if i wanted to tell you the most important thing i have mine says less than a minute time. oh really mine says a minute 47 oh mr oh did you upgrade yeah, you I must have I, upgraded to get the I, extra i'm paying two like minutes. i'm paying five cents a month to get the extra minute um well we can restart this if you want Excellent. is it gonna cut me off probably probably <laughs> <laughs> Just end it. do you have anything to say no Dude, did it always say that? Yeah. What? Recording. I thought in it progress? just said recording in progress. Oh, is that what yours says? That's what mine says. Yeah. Dude, mine is a woman going, This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> oh, what? I think it's because I have an old version. They probably like updated it or whatever. Uh yeah. Dude, I really love this uh this hotel setup right now. Dude, it's, it's very, gorgeous, bro. Daff is uh smarter than me. So when we originally came here last year, she, you know, booked ahead and said, you know, my boyfriend's retarded. Can we have the handicap room? <laughs> so we got like a deluxe bathroom, huge. And then when we got here this time, the guy was like, any stipulations? And I was like, nah, put us wherever. And we're on like the second floor thrown in the back, alleged ocean view. If you look out the window, it's just a parking lot. It's like a little... not as nice as the original, uh, the original one, but she's happy and having a great birthday. Yes, I am. Please don't <laughs> <All right. me. laughs> squeeze that breast. I see how it is. I, uh, she was like, yeah, she thinks she's a guest right now, but you're just I'm a, a guest. breast. I'm I'm guest. You're just simply just a breast to both of us. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, I cannot I mean, get over this Usher look, bro. Is it Usher? I was going, swagged out. I was going more Usher's? for the, like, yeah, the black. Yeah. Guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Do you have shit in your hair? Uh, no, I took a shower not that long ago. Oh, bro. Delicious. Yeah. I'm meant to say beautiful. Delicious. Sounds Delicious. Weird. Beautiful locks. Beautiful Thank locks you. of hair. Dude, when I fly to Turkey eventually in like six years mm -hmm. to get my hair implants, you're coming with <laughs> me. You're going to be my little guinea pig. Yeah, that's where my people hail from, actually. My uh, I, Turkish? We, yeah, after we were on the podcast and Rusty was like interrogating me about my race, I, I went. I, it was a heavy interrogation. That's, a, that's, a, that's just jokes. Just jokes. Uh, when I, when I was like, I knew that my grandfather on my mom's side was cause Israel didn't exist right when he was born. So I miss he, that he was <laughs> no, <laughs> the good old days, <laughs> good the old good days. Old days. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I wasn't sure where he was born, but yeah, I found out cause I asked my mom afterwards or the next day and 
He was born in Iraq, but his parents were Turkish. So both of dude, his my parents, parents were worked from in Iraq. Oh, really? That's similar. Yeah, dude. You know, it's funny. I feel like that explains because am I correct in saying most ethnic Jewish people are not that hairy body hair wise? Mm, I'm, I'm not like, saying you're a race of twinks, but I, I feel like your leg hair might be because of the Turkish blood. Uh, probably. I mean, yeah, my, my dad is Ashkenazi. My mom is Sephardic. And I think there's a third kind of Say Spartan Jew. Sephardic Sephardic Jew. Sephardic is like Sephardic <laughs> is like a brownish Jew. And then I think there's a third one. That's like a, a bluish s- one. Something yeah, like blue a something one. else. A blue, a blue Jew that Smurf <laughs> blue Jew. I think it's like Smurfardic. But, uh, Smurfardic, <laughs> dude, that's powerful. Uh, Smurfette. She was hot. Smurfette. There's the blonde one. Yeah, that was like you know that um that really old meme that's of like Papa Smurf, but he's like thug, and it's like, and then he's got like Smurfette is like kind of like spooning on him, and she's got like her ass hanging out, and it just says like, "Lord forgive me, I'm about to go back to my old ways" or something <laughs> like that. I love those. Like, I know the Bugs edits. Bunny one like that, but dude, oh, I think we talked was... about that last episode. Yeah, but fucking the cartoon edits are so fucking good, bro. Wait, there was there was one other topic that's like trending on Twitter right now that I feel like I just wanted to bring up was the uh, of course watch, we got to hit the trending topics. Did did you watch this like um video? I think it's the CEO of Instagram who's talking about he's like addressing all the complaints about the changes to the app recently. Did no, but Instagram that? sucks fucking ass. Yeah, Is sucks. he doing one of those things where he's like? I'm sorry you don't like the changes, but uh, it, we're making it better because it's more like TikTok. It is exactly like that. Oh, and, what and a he, fruit, dude. And, I, and I, remember, I watched the video, and of course, he's getting like ratioed to hell. Like, you know, you know, it's bad when the the retweets, are, it's, it, it has like 5,000 retweets and only like 1,000 likes. It's yeah, like, that's oh, no good. Ugly. But uh, he's getting roasted. And, and I was just like, Dude, you should not have posted this video. Like, if you're gonna change the app, just do it and fu- it's free. Like, you could just say fuck you to everybody who uses it. No one's paying you shit. It doesn't matter. Like, why are you going on here and, and doing this? this well, dude, cringe. we talked about this last time with the squizzy thing because I think we were saying her modem operandi is like she's just gonna not say anything until people forget that she beat the shit out of this like mm-hmm. six foot four guy. Mm-hmm. that's really the key anytime anyone's happy if you just don't acknowledge it put your head down and keep going straight you could literally like shoot barack obama in the head <laughs> and if you just don't acknowledge it people will literally forget as soon don't as forget. like chance the rapper drops another album or something but he fell off so hard bro i fucking hate chance i blame you dude in college you were like dude acid rap so good like chance is the man and i was trying to listen to it and i was like this is I feel like a pig is shitting into my ear. Like it is so yeah. sonically garbage. I yeah. hate it. it. It's uh, it it's definitely one of those things that I look back on now. There's some there's some music that I, I was listening to in like high school that I can listen to now and be like, okay, this hasn't aged really well, but like it's nostalgic. Like I get Blink why I liked it then. Yeah, sure, Blink One Eighty Two, like some other random crap. But yeah, Chance is one of those that has not. It has not aged well. It's definitely no. No. very Just like Greta Thunberg. Not oh. aged well at all. Dude, someone posted a picture yesterday that was like her. Uh, she looked like a little gothic in editing, but it was like, forget climate change. I just discovered cock. And it was so <laughs> fucking funny, dude. I showed you, I think. I always like lean over and show her a meme. And she's like, okay, go away. Yo, honestly, you used to use, because we need a woman's opinion on this, Daph's wearing these earrings that are of a woman serial killer, and I feel like she's trying to send me a message. What? Are they Eileen Warnos? Eileen Warnos, yeah. How did you know? I didn't fucking know. That's like like the woman serial killer. Wow. All of her victims on the other side. You showed them the wrong side. Oh, did I? I don't know if you Oh, my God. Those are, like, really swaggy. That's a it looks dope. like someone made it on like a shrinky dink. She's like she's a Florida icon. I don't know if you know this, but like most of her murders she Florida were girl? committed. She is a Florida girl. Florida girl's got that crazy puss, bro. From and what I understand, crazy, crazy. crazy. And, and uh, when I um, I, I I've known about her because you know her she's, work, her her work. Yeah, I'm very familiar. Big fan. Her but uh, <laughs> they they made a uh, they made like a movie about her, which I think is, she, is, is it the one with Charlize Theron? Uh huh. Okay. Okay, no, that's they did that's make that one, but there's another movie. one that's a worse 
one. Wait, with Char- gonna... Charlize Theron also? No, no. It's not. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, it's, damn, girl, it's what this happened? one? It's actually called. It's called Eileen Warno's American Boogie Woman. And it's, it's <laughs> there's the problem. I'll tell you right Boogie now. Woman. The name was the problem. That sounds like Dude, a fun animal movie. I am going to tell you right now. I saw it. I think it was on Netflix. It's one one of those streaming services. I saw it on there. Me and my girl watched it, and front to back, like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. But it was like, I, like I couldn't turn it off because I was, it, I was like, I cannot believe how how oh, terrible this movie. Is. Have you yeah. guys uh, watched Showgirls yet? No, I have not. Dude, seen I that. I think Daph and I both agree wholeheartedly. If you're looking for a movie to laugh at, this movie at the time best had movie the of all time. One best of them. dude, really biggest Hollywood budget ever. First, it, no biggest the most amount paid for a script in wait, history at the time. Oh, they didn't have the biggest budget. I thought they did no, though because the Las the, Vegas filming. I don't think the budget. I think it was the most paid for a script. Either way, bro, watch that movie and get back to us because it. Okay. it it's a little treat. So who's it? Auditory. Are famous people? In- oh, Kyle MacLachlan's in it. Who else is in it? My this? favorite movies. Dude, Maybe wow. my favorite movie. We I'm not familiar it. with it. Anyway, I, just because I'm gonna forget. There's two things, by the way. Remind me. I wanted to do this at the beginning because I knew I would forget, and I already did forget. But we do mm-hmm. have an audience question for our email. Which, oh, by the way, what? if you're listening, Beetle Dog cold cuts at gmail.com that's a like horrible the email. <laughs> cold cuts was taken. Cold cuts uh, was taken. Cold cuts was taken. Cold cuts pod. Uh, yeah, I should have done Cold Cuts Pod. Yeah, we could still make a new one, Cold Cuts Pod. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Beetle Dog, Beetle cold dog cuts. Cold My cuts. point being, though, is you, whenever I have an Instagram problem or an Instagram question, I come to you because, and you make fun of me a lot because I'm literally like an old man. Uh-huh. She accused me of typing photos into Google the other day, but it was the Google that did that. Okay, <laughs> not Google. me, it was the Google. But as someone who used to use Instagram frequently, you've had like three or four accounts banned. Uh That was back when you were pussy posting. You know what I'm saying? Uh Is that is is that why it got it got banned? Uh Because yeah, (laughs) really? Had her yeah, her big clitty flopping around. Well, that's not true. (laughs) I've seen a few of those pictures. Oh well, no, I also got banned that one time for bullying. Because remember, I used to have my little show. She had a show where she'd have these old guys call in and then just make fun of them. Yeah, I'm dating a high class lady right now, baby. I'm dating a high class. I took calls. I took callers. That's great. Were they were and they then, paying um, you to like degrade them or was it just no, out of no the I of um I, I like advertised it as a joke as like um like a sexual phone call thing you know mm-hmm. like those things and then I just went on Instagram Live on the phone and I like I didn't like make fun of them directly I just sort of like was clearly messing with them but most of the time they didn't understand it. The biggest thing I missed that you used to do, you you still did it a little bit when we first started dating, but you completely Uh-oh. stopped. It, she would go on Instagram Live and just eat like 800 oh, yeah, Jack in the Box burgers while talking <laughs> to people. But just like, it, it was like a mukbang without like acknowledging it was a mukbang. You were just watching her consume. She was an all-consuming void. That's it awesome. Was insane. Anyway, before I forget the question, mm-hmm. you used to use Instagram a ton. Mm-hmm. Have you noticed how fucking weird it changes? And do you mind? Because I literally, I keep trying to tell you just download TikTok, but you love Reels. No, I you, don't. You live on Reels. Who no, likes Reels? Are you just Nobody trying not to talk reels. to me? Huh? We come home from the hotel room, you're on Reels for six hours. Uh, and texting no. some guy named Geraldo. What's that about? <laughs> no, It's Geraldo. <laughs> <There. laughs> um, anyway, um, do I care about the changes? The only change that I know of is that there are reels. Oh, and shopping? You can shop on there? You haven't felt, though, that they have kind of suppressed people who post pictures and more try to pump Suppressed? Yeah. No, I don't believe in that whole shadow banning thing. I think that's just something people tell themselves to make themselves comfortable with the fact that they suck. Oh, yeah, the, you know the, what? The algorithm suppressing me. <laughs> no, no, sure. I, I do actually hard agree with Daph there because I, I, I see people like our peers fellow webcomic artists that are posting constantly bitching about the algorithm and i'm like dude c- come on man it's like it, it's there's this uh do you know that they did some experiment back in the 70s that they were able to train pigeons to be like superstitious because it was like <laughs> they they like they basically just like they proved that superstition wasn't just like a human thing. It was actually like an animal thing because they made it that like these pigeons would like press a button and get food, but there was like, they would only get food like 30% of the time if they just press the button, but they would get food 60% of the time if they press the button and were like flapping their wings at the same time. Mm-hmm. But, th- but then 
the all the pigeons were just flapping their wings and pressing the button, even though it like didn't always know, do it, like it. didn't matter. Yeah, it, like it was something like that. Like anyway, that that is like the same <laughs> shit. It's like this like like I think that some of these people that are complaining about the algorithm and their shit getting buried, it's like you got to recognize that part of it is just sheer luck. It's just who is on their phone at that time and who's going to retweet your shit and also just making content that the, the way to combat the algorithm is making shit that people are going to like and retweet and share yeah. like that. That's like, pretty did much your, it. Did your video really get suppressed or was your video of you calling Obama the N word, <laughs> maybe not hitting a target audience? You know yeah. what I mean? You're about to say something. No, I was just thinking about calling <laughs> Obama the N word now. Well, don't, you th- don't you think that if um, the reels are um, more shared and more popular, that that's a sign that Instagram did something well and that the people who are angry over it are just a vocal minority? If but Kylie Jenner liked- also came out. Kylie Jenner. Came out. <laughs> yeah. And she Kylie came Jenner out speaking came out. that Instagram was like doing that. Like doing what? Suppressing photos, trying to get people to do reels. I trust she her. She's popular. She didn't say that. I swear she she made just an she just said make Instagram the old Instagram again. That's all she said. I mean, Which, by I, the way, is that a Trump illusion? I'm it scared. Does sound like it, I'm yeah. frightened. It, it it it's like I do understand the the complaint that Instagram was an image sharing platform, TikTok was a video sharing platform, and now these people who maybe just it's it's like even as i'm saying it, it's just stupid it's just like grow the <laughs> fuck up because it's like because i understand that some people are like but i'm a content creator and my content is just images and if i'm not making videos no one's going to see my content it's like bro it's a free app it doesn't owe you shit you need to find somewhere else to post your shit no, like dude they definitely because one guy i used to be a huge fan of made like this animation with a buck tooth Asian woman, and they definitely yeah. suppressed it, bro. Because that that could have been huge. Yeah, that could have yeah. been super famous. Could have been huge. I just don't really. Yeah, I don't really understand what the complaint is anyway. Sorry, I'm pulling up the, what the is question. The complaint? That well, videos are more popular. It's than just because like, I, I think that's is, just true. It, it, it is true, I, and and it <laughs> is like it's like what Daphne said. Like it is a vocal minority because most people just want the most casual viewing experience, which is just to flip through videos. You know what I mean? Like that's most people, what they want to do. They don't want to see your promoted art or, or in your, you know what I mean? I hate to say well, they want to see mine. I'm an artist. They want to see mine. They, 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 they want to see mine. I know they want, they don't even know it, but they want it out. But I was, ta- I was talking about it to my girlfriend and she showed me, she like screen recorded her Instagram. And when she logged on, like, the first like 20 things as she's scrolling through i'm no exaggeration it was like it was all promoted or sponsored reels like she couldn't even get to content that was her friends posting stuff because it was just like ad ad shoving it down yeah yeah. and that that part it's like it is it's pretty terrible that part i was i originally thought i disagreed with you both and was like the suppressing is going on, but hearing you both refer to them as a vocal minority and hearing the word minority, I hate them. Okay. okay. That, yeah. We have to stop them. The vocal minority yes. don't listen to them. Totally. any minorities. Yes. <laughs> I said, Filip- don't listen to them. Don't play into my face. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Filipinos here, bro. I was blown away. Where? At the Cavalier restaurant. At the restaurant? Yeah. They, 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 oh, wait a minute. They weren't. No, there was one Vietnamese waitress. You're so annoying. You know I, thought <laughs> she, I thought she was Filipino. I thought she was. I was like 99% convinced. Okay, oh my before God. I forget, I'm pulling okay, this question okay, okay, up. Okay, okay. I'm pulling this question up. This is from uh, Brandon Miller. He says, mm-hmm. for YOLO, guy with the mustache, why are you a furry? Excellent. Um, dude, I think of myself like Walt Disney, not in terms of greatness or how far I'm going to go, but I just like drawing trains. cartoon animal i love trans oh trains yeah i love trans <laughs> yeah trans. but uh dude i don't consider myself a furry i just i mean to be fair i think i've sent you quite a few furry porn pictures that femboy tales one recently mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. <laughs> but save that I, I just like drawing cartoon animals and the dog kind of came out of like everyone seemed to have like a little mascot guy and i mm-hmm. was like I have to make a mascot guy and I'm so such a loser. It was like, I'll just draw myself as a dog instead of like creating something brand new. Uh But uh, I I would refer to myself as a a furry spelled F-A-U-X, which I'm coining that term like a 
a fake furry, you know, like okay, foe. Mm-hmm. How do you say that? Pronounce that word? Foe. Foe. Yeah, a foe. I'm a foe. But uh, dude, we do have <laughs> no, a Harris question. Doing, right? No, well, I know I have a follow up question. Oh, okay, what good. makes one a furry? Well, that is a great point, <laughs> and is what I, I was going to say. When you got in the costumes. But well, you're jerking even. it to femboy tails, but you're not in your costume and you don't ever do that and you don't make the content yourself. Does that make you a furry? Well, I don't you know could if I've jerked it enough to femboy tails. It was only think, like two or three times. I think you can like furry porn and not be a furry, which I think is what Zach is. <laughs> but I think, why? but I do. Is there I, not? How? I, I mean, I don't why. know. <laughs> I, I do believe, I, I don't consider myself a furry, but I do believe that there's a camp of furries that claim that you don't have to dress up or uh even like watch porn or look at porn of furries but just that if you like anthropomorphic animals you're a furry when in that I definition think that was like the OG i am one. yeah and that yeah. definition i'd say i am because i do like anthropomorphic animals like cartoons and shit i love That's mickey fun. mouse yeah. but dude obviously it can't the- more than like them like love love but dude it can't be a stipulation yeah. to be to have a fursuit because my god those things are like 2k for like a fucking regular one that's probably you know I mean? oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's uh, probably on the cheap um, side what do they call that uh classes yeah classes classes that, that, that like would be so sure. classes are furries. pretty lefty they don't want to be classes but let <laughs> me get to the first question oh okay go ahead sorry but as i cut you off for beetle guy with admittedly smaller mustache which i noticed you you shaved off i'm a little I disappointed did. yeah i i i it was um it was just getting itchy. I don't really think the mustache is like my. Bro, I have so much shit that gets caught in this one. It's like a flavor saver <laughs> cum catcher. I cannot handle it, dude. I, I did like the way it looked up to a certain point, And then I was just like, okay, I'm starting to, you know, it's, it's mostly when, when I go to the gym, I'm dressed really schlubby. Like I don't look cool at the gym at all. And sometimes I get a glimpse of myself and I'm just like sweat pale and sweating and like, and I just have this like mustache, and I look at myself, and I'm like, oh my god, I just look like a Skip fucking myself. pervert right now. Yeah, straight. So, uh, let me just lose the stash. I'll grow it back in a week, and you know, we'll be back. Anyway, I, I know the answer to this, but what's the story of your name and icon, Mister Beetle? Oh, okay. Uh, there's not really, there's not really a story. Yeah, I think I've mentioned it once before, but it's um, I had a a bunch of random names written down that I. Well, first, when Zach shouted me out, when Yolo Swag shouted me out, when I first joined Twitter, my name was just like Harris underscore art. But I stylized the name Harris the way that it was on my old Instagram and all this shit. And then I was like, when Zach shouted me out on Twitter spaces, he was like, yeah, go follow my boy. It's a H A R R one one S under and I was like listening and I was like oh my god no one is following me like no one is gonna look that shit up that's so bad so that's when I decided I had to like come up with something that was a little punchier and I had a few different names that were like just two words and I wanted something that was no numbers and Beetle Moses was the first one that uh, didn't like it wasn't taken like it was it wasn't there I remember when you you yeah. mentioned beetle moses to me there was like a uh, uh, not the burp but it was like oh that's it there it, it had like a bit of a, a ring to it to me it's yeah it was sticky there's a little bit of a ring to it there were some other ones that i was like toying with i, I actually didn't i wanted it to be a little shorter than beetle moses i tried like bug moses first i think and that one was taken actually and then uh uh but yeah, I don't know. And now it's like actually right after it, because after you change your name, I think like one time on Twitter, they say like, that's it. You can't that's change it, it yeah, anymore. Yeah. And so I was like, OK, I mean, I'm just going to change it. And if it's cringy or like my biggest fear, like I had to Google it a couple times before I made it because I really was afraid that someone's going to be like, like, Dude, Beetle Moses is like slang for child pornography. Like, didn't you know that? There's some some shit that I like never heard of. But luckily, I did. That hap- <laughs> dude, that happened to me with my original name, child pornography. Oh, okay. I yeah. had no idea that that That's had such good. a connotation. I was yeah. kind of like, Ooh. Okay, yeah. so I think there's a, a f- finalized question. Another thing: How do you all have the confidence to post these crazy ass comics and tweets all the time? Do you have to worry about family finding your stuff ever? And to that, I say. My parents did find my Twitter and I'm constantly getting calls that are like, please, 
please stop doing cum comics. And then they'll, they'll send me like Heathcliff comics and be like, don't you think something like this would be more popular with your audience? And I'm just yeah. like, you, you don't get it, mom. You don't, you don't it. get it. Yeah. I, I, uh, my grandma follows me on Twitter. Actually. She started I, following me on Instagram. Or did, your did aunt. Really? I hate when your relatives follow me. Cause I'm like, they're going to think I'm poisoning their grandchild. It's, like, it's at a point where like, I think my, my parents are just like, they see that I'm just working. I'm in like schizophrenic work mode right now. So I think they're just happy to see that I'm like grinding. And of course now I have like a small following and stuff too. So there's, I don't really think they care, but I also don't really post anything. That's that like crazy. I don't know. Crazy. Yeah. I can't think of anything you've done that would offend a parent. Really? I have like, all fucking curse words like it's not really like there's there's nothing really bad yeah but you know it's the n-word comic went a little far i don't think you had to call neil i know i had to remove that one yeah i shouldn't have called obama that but they (laughs) but uh i my mom was like looking at your i think instagram page or something like that because she asked me she's like oh what's sex instagram and i was like oh you can look it up and she was like scrolling through and she actually was laughing at the one i think i told you this that was like a guy with a, his dog in a park and he's like man's like man's best friend or something like that i don't know i i'm gonna butcher the rescue a dog he it was yeah. a rescue dog oh, that yeah. rescued you from stinky pussy yeah like yeah it's a rescue and he like he like sniffed the girl he's like her coochie stank and then he was like he rescued me too or so, some shit like that it's like but she thought that was funny <laughs> based like, on on daft's puss the <laughs> smell like, you know i need i needed a dog to save me <laughs> you're so annoying do you think do you ever get um well i know you i've do. offended your mother have you mm-hmm. by having a peen or what well that and um <laughs> i think uh i made <laughs> oh, i recreated um a meme in which someone said that they were um shitting out somebody's cum and yes! i created it <laughs> yes dude it's this video a of a ch- the chicken it's like a chicken crossing no not the, the road. chicken the snapchat picture the fake Snapchat picture. You don't remember it, but um, she, I'm pretty sure, didn't sent it to you, but did not like it. Yeah. Oh, geez. I mean, parents and then just the chicken don't one too. The chicken one's so good. But luckily, I mean, my parents don't know my social media, nor would they. I don't think they would follow me. Well, your mom's a babe, Candy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank She's you for saying sweet. my mother's name on this. <laughs> 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 I need to know. <laughs> I need to know my oh, eligible uh, bachelorette. Ooh, tasty. Ooh. I, uh, yeah, I don't really, uh, I, I think there, sometimes I'll, if I post something, I don't know. It's like, I know my parents don't care, but I, I do cringe a little. I'm more worried about, like, I don't know, like my, my girlfriend's family. Like, I think it, the worst thing that could happen isn't even that they're like offended by it, but that they see it and they're just like, what? Like, Why are you with I, this guy? I don't, I don't get this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, and especially if I'm there, then it's like, Oh, now you're gonna make me explain like a joke in this stupid comic? Like, it's just not. It's just not, not worth it. it. Not worth it. Well, I was gonna say how frequently, and I think the word the answer is probably going to be a lot. But do I post a comic and you go, "I made the wrong decision dating this guy," or a rap well, song. if I made my decision of dating you based <laughs> on your content, I wouldn't be dating you. <laughs> <laughs> that means I have a huge penis. <laughs> but that's why I don't pay attention to it. Mm. You used to, I remember you told me you used to think it was super cute. I did comics because you originally thought they were. I when we first started dating, I did the them. giraffe one. Yeah, it would be like me and her. They were comics about us. And they were nice. Animals. And there was no like cynicism to them whatsoever. The ones that you initially showed me. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I thought you made. Mm-hmm. I thought you made yeah. a little cute comic with the dog. Mm-hmm. I, I do. That was cute. It I is bring cute. The dog comics Some of them are back. cute. And yeah, then you should. Made, well, but also uh, you hadn't yet made when, um, we first started you hadn't yet made the spin to ripping off uh kelly mm-hmm. R- ripping off for more spiritual successor you know i feel like i'm taking ripping off the mantle <laughs> i think i chose my words uh, yeah you're right i i do kind of take it and make it better yeah i am better than kelly you're right i, th- I think you you need somebody like daff in your corner though like i think you see all these people that just get gassed up way too much by their their friends and family and loved ones that are just like bro just keep going like this shit is so good but i actually like my girl is like that too, where sometimes I'll draw something and she'll be like, 
I don't get it. Like that's not really Dude, every day. I, say that every I literally time. stop yeah. showing I never her get comics it. sometimes. I've never gotten And then the <laughs> one time I was livid because I showed her the Jordan Peterson Elliot Page Twin Tower breast comic. Yeah. And she was like, You should have had Jordan Peterson being the falling man jumping out of the 9-11 building. And I was like, You bitch, why didn't you fucking tell me <laughs> yeah, oh, that's God. genius? Yeah, you that earlier. That, sometimes that's uh, you have good ideas. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My um, the, my biggest pet peeve that I've noticed recently is like when people comment. <laughs> now I've got people are just gonna start doing it now, but it's like people will just comment on my shit and be like, "I don't get it," and it's like, okay, "Do you want me to explain it? Like, do you want me to go into the comments and explain it to you? Like, just fuck off." That, that just that happens. Is like, you have to be autistic to type that because it's like, why can't you Dude. just scroll away? Like, why do you have to like? I literally, well, there there was a guy with a a verif- It was like a verified account. He was some. I think he's some Twitch streamer. Or I don't know what he's some. He plays. T- it's it has like Team Fortress Two in his like bio or some shit like that. And I was already like, I like oh, it. Boy. I like it. But he posted on his Twitter and was just like, like show me like hey like post on here here's a thread like show me your art that you've been doing or tag an artist that you really like or something like that and one of my followers posted one of my comics on there like in the thread and was just like oh I, this is like one of my favorite artists that i follow like beetle Mose or something like that and i was just super super nice like dude thank you i should know his ex i should shout him out right now but but then the tf2 guy just replied to it and was just like I don't get it. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, dude, get like, fuck you. That's like, such <laughs> ass, dude. I remember a, uh, this, uh, I don't know his, oh, running out of time. Excellent. But uh, right. this, this, I'm actually going to post a guy. comic right now too. Wait, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Let it rip. Let it rip. But this Donovan guy, I'm a really big fan of. He just has a show now. Gavin McGinnis, Gavin Guinness. Gavin McGinnis. Oh, he's he's like a Proud Boys like guy. Alt right, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. I know who yeah, yeah. I think I think he's semi toned it down, but he gave Donnie a show, so Donnie has his own show now. But um, Donnie really liked one of my comics one time and was like, he tagged this this comedian who's uh, uh, what's the appropriate handicapped. He tagged a handicapped comedian in it and was like, you know, this is fresh, blah blah blah. And the guy was just like, this fucking sucks. And I was just like. Uh, I can't even fucking clown on this guy because he's like, Jesus, man, dude was fucked up, which I think maybe in a past life, God knew like, oh, he doesn't like Yola Swag comics. <laughs> you know, we're going to take away his ability to move all of his limbs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just as like, I, that's fair to me. If you don't want to yeah. like my comics, you can be handicapped. That's kind of just yeah. how it is. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> no one record I, this part and post it. This is this is the part we may have to cut. <laughs> OK, how do you feel I, about uh, handicapped people? Just fine. I remember my parents used to call the, I think oh, I can no longer hear anything, but my parents used to, I remember called the handicapped parking spots, handicrapped, I think, because they were, they well, were always mad. They couldn't park there. Their humor. Yeah. My parents are geniuses. They could, they could easily do a type <laughs> five. I like think. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it was endearing. It was endearing. It was, it wasn't like crap. Poop. You were endeared like, by them. Your parents. Yeah. My parents are highly endearing hmm. a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. You ever see the video of the it's 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 obviously staged, but it's really funny. But it's like some dude that gets cut off in traffic and he's like so pissed and he comes out and he's like barking at the other dude at the at, like they're both screaming at each other. Like the other dude's still in his car and he's in a, he's like hanging out the window and he's just like, Man, fuck you, I'll fuck you up. And they're like, he's like, step out of here, step out of here. And he's like, you know what? I will. And he like opens the door and he's on like one of those handicapped and it's like mm, yeah. and it's like lowering him down. And he's but as he's like getting lowered, he's just like, Man, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> like just like and the guy's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway, that made me think of that. That's powerful. <laughs> a little handicapped humor. A little, a little handicapped, handicapped humor. humor. Uh yeah, I uh, I really don't understand the I don't get it crowd. Like I, it's just like, just don't. You don't get it. Just, just don't kill yourself. Say anything. Kill <laughs> yeah, yourself. Like, you can't get it. Like, what do you want? What do you want from me? Explaining you it. You mentioned it earlier. Is just so cringe. Especially if it's like the dog it. comic with the pussy. It's like, what do you want me to say? Pussy stank. Like you need to be able to fucking put this together. I yeah, think Twitter has a lot of like 10 year olds, though, and I think that's kind of part of it. It's like, yeah, or or also just like, I mean, the, the comic that that person shared on the thread, to be fair, it was the spirited away comic. So it's like, OK, the guy maybe 
hasn't seen the movie or also it's kind of a reference to like city living like the people dancing on the train so maybe he lives in fucking nebraska like he maybe doesn't know about any of this shit reddit but was, alert but nebraska he could, is reddit <laughs> is reddit but he could have just like no honestly new york is reddit nebraska is a little bit like not so reddit but it's 4chan nebraska is 4chan yeah new York's reddit nebraska is um what's the what's the alt-right uh message board no, not for or gab. Oh, you've told me about gab. No, there's another one that starts with like a P. Um, parlor, parlor. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. You ever been on that one? No, but I was on gab the other day, and it was so funny because I don't, it's just so funny to me that these guys are like, Oh, yeah, we're anti Semitic, we're not actually anti Semitic, just the media. And then the, the owner of gab posted, like, I'm so sick of fake Christians and fucking Jews running this country, and it's like. Dude, what you're not you're making yourself look terrible, bro. Like, I don't know why you think. And he keeps talking about this Christian uprising and we're gonna kill everyone. And it's like you're not making a good case for your no. little frog gab company. Yeah. I don't yeah. I, I don't know, man. It's like even all of the alt-right shit feels like old hat. Like we were doing that back in like 2020. It's so 2016. Dude. It is like, like 2016, and now we're kind of like like, I don't know, man, it's like over and I and I think it's actually an issue because everybody on Twitter is grasping at straws trying to figure out who they should be angry at now because it's like there's just not really I don't know. There's nothing really going on that's like yeah. of importance. I saw people posting about that Joe Biden got a facelift. Did you see? That? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who think he there's like a clone lab and they keep like <laughs> putting out new versions of them. I don't oh. The conspiracy goes deep. But the, it can't be a clone lab because wouldn't they be cloning him to look younger and better? Like he looks worse. Like yeah, I really he looks like shit, dude. Looks I, he literally terrible. looks like he's held together with scotch tape. Like I don't it's know bad. how going on. Did you see the most recent video of him where everyone thought he had a facelift? The where he's giving the speech right in mm-hmm. front of the podium. I thought he looked younger. You did? He looked less ragged. Oh, Daph. Well, you he are also bugging. He looks insane. <laughs> in that video. I thought it really does look like he had well, an eyelid. He just got his eyes are like a... this the whole time. Yeah, his he doesn't blink. He's yeah, like he's usually... literally. It's. I think I don't even think he got a facelift. I think they surgically removed his eyelids <laughs> and gave like... him some new ones. <laughs> well, he just got over COVID. I think I don't that's know if that played said, a but that part. That seems quick. Well, yeah, that was really fast. Especially that's for an people, old man. Yeah, that's what people were saying was that he said that he had COVID so, to he, could stay, so he could stay out of the media light. To I didn't even think about his that. Plastic surgery. That's smart. just a theory. But you know what? Stranger things have happened, right? You know, it totally could be real. And he does look different. He looks very weird. I, I feel like he looks different every time. He, he there does. is something about every him that's about Ted Bundy esque, where if you does. look at a different angle, or, it's kind of um, like, or like yeah. Randy. Or like Brandy from Housewives, <laughs> which I hate the show and would never watch. Listen, for the last uh, four minutes, I feel like, you know, we've been over here making love to each other verbally. Oh, no. Let's throw some questions towards our breast, our guest. But how, wait, how why in the three minutes? I have to talk that quickly? That's, that's the time people, that you've allotted me? People, the, the cold chop, cast. Chop. Come on. The cold <laughs> chop. What's right right cold? cold cuts. Cold cuts. Cold the cold cuts. cast audience. Beetle dog cold cuts. To men. Beetle dog cold cuts. We hate women. Just like I, the guy said, I did actually. I do think that when you when you YouTube search "cold cuts podcast," we finally show up because for a while there we did not. I show feel up. so bad for the fifth graders who made their cold cuts podcast. Yeah, you on shouldn't Spotify. even say that because now it, you're acknowledging that we were aware of their existence before. Well, dude, but, I looked it up. Their episodes are like twenty minutes long, and it's like I know they had posted in school, in so and I was like, long. "Yeah, hey, they've, let me give you a lesson on what life's like. Watch as I crush your dreams and your skull, <laughs> you little fucking fruit." Well, I, why is it cold cuts to flip the questioning back on you? Well, it was it was kind of like a the butcher concept, but then to me, cold cuts was like because we're so irreverent. And it's like it's a, like the opposite of a hot take. No, oh. it's like that's what there it's, are there's so many there. different types of cold cuts, like salami, pastrami, salami, pastrami. <laughs> that uh, yeah, salami, you know, it's pastrami. like each story we tell, each topic, it's almost like a little slice of deli meat. It's delicious. It's a little yeah. All right, never mind. I regret asking. <laughs> I do. I, I I get what you're saying. I think we came up with like a few different like. Yeah, and the I one that won was not chosen because it had a... Uh, Retard Direct, yeah. which, by God, oh. would have been so good, dude. Retard Direct, we would have been that one, by that, bro. It, well, that's because, the, I mean, the reason that that one even showed up was because we 
did a podcast or, name you, generator. Yeah, which <laughs> yeah. is so funny that that even exists. That is that is just some we live in a society type shit that that even exists. You could like, oh, let me make up a random generator name for my podcast. But dude, some of the ones that it spit out, the it, it was um no country for old retards or something that was like so that. Was funny so dude funny. no country for retarded <laughs> men it was like dude i was banger. like that is so funny but it, it's just like we 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 would be totally just like shelving an entire like audience but they're just gonna see that yeah. name and be like i'm not listening to this shit dude but- i'm honored i feel like we're taking some tender queers and turning them into hard-boiled queers because there was some guy commented that- like a tender queer yeah it's what they you call the twitter people who like i hate that i use that word but it's the only way to describe them no, it's i first, like, her, 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 first heard it from you also i'd never heard that no you didn't before. no you didn't but it's like a, a queer person online or like a fruity person online who's like oh they said a bad word and they get like scared like they cry a little bit because, are you like, sure it's not the 10 year olds that are also on twitter that you said earlier it is yes so they're the, part of that what, what are you referring to them as tender queers for? Because that's the term well, you care about used their one time. No, but uh, yeah. I, I don't care about their opinion. But my point being is I saw one of them comment. Uh, I, you know, I thought I would never listen to a podcast where they used the R word, but I love this podcast. And I was like, <laughs> I it's like when I make you laugh when I, I, I make a rape joke, because it's like you're kind of like rape jokes aren't funny. And then I'm like, when do I rape? And you're like, <laughs> like, ED a little bit, like start laughing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Check this uh, out. Sounds like that happened. <laughs> we do have less than right. a minute. Yeah, it's about to. All right, out. we might have to run it back just for a, a final five minutes. Just to, a uh, final, just to wind it out clo- in closing. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Here, click. Happy birthday right. to Dude, you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Big wig. That um, hit me again. I think I told you one time, but she, she hit like, you again. You're just not some not like squizzy that. shit, dude. Not like what that. The... Not like squizzy. Uh, okay. She was like, "Why don't you just do Harry Fishman? You could have had Harry like Harry Little Fishman." That's like, what? My wait, you mean my, as my Twitter name or as yeah. a podcast yeah. name? No, oh, not a podcast. Because like, I don't know. It's like I'm so used to my um, I'm so used to my name that it just doesn't sound cool <laughs> to me. Yeah. But yeah, it's like I could, I probably could have done something like that, but uh. I don't know. I I think when I first went into it, I also really just wanted something that not to use the yellow swag word, but just that was like irreverent, like just something that had no, (laughs) no, no larger meaning, like just something. And um, but I like the idea of like a character, like a name. Yeah, me too, bro. There's something a little bit autistic and childish about that. But it's like Mm -hmm. I love I love the little character type that your little what are they called? Like an avatar exactly yeah this has more a traditional name and you you don't have the name yolo i th- i can't decide if the dog's name is yolo or cream a lot of people call him cream a lot of people call him yolo cream because my twitter handle is cream of dog which some people refer twitter to handle. me as well it's like my name but yeah. some people know me as cream of dog as opposed to yolo swag studios yeah which i think is funny you know originally i was going to change it every month uh, it was originally going to change from that to hickory smoked dog. It was always going to be a dog food item, uh-huh. but uh, I don't know. I just really liked cream of dog. I kind of just like kept it. Yeah. I like cream of dog. That one's funny. Mm-hmm. And I, when, I, when I was first on, when I first like joined Twitter and you were like retweeting some of my comics when that, that I was posting, one of my buddies followed me and he was like, Oh man, this guy, this guy cream of dog has been like retweeting your stuff a lot. And I'm like, I was like, yeah, that's my that's my buddy Zach. But like, it was like a little bit of nepotism at play there. But nah, uh, dude, I told you from the start, you would have made you would have been big without me, bro. Like your shit's fresh, dog. I don't think I really played. I might have sped up the process, but you didn't me- need me to fly, bro. This is like thanks. the part in the movie where you find out uh, the magic dance shoes I gave you aren't magical. You had well, it inside well, of you all along. Yeah, like Mike. I think that's the movie you're thinking of. But the but um. More than anything, I'm I'm actually surprised at how much fun I'm having doing the podcast. Because honestly, I never really thought like a pod podcasting would be um, my thing. But it's dude, not to get queer fun. either. But it's I'm having a blast. I'm so glad. To me, to me, to me. That's a little joke we do together. <laughs> but uh, I'm so glad we reconnected because oh, yeah. I not that you ignored me. I don't think you ignored me, but it just wasn't the right time. 
post-college and after we graduated, there was nothing to like, what would we have done? Just like talked in the phone, like a bunch I don't know, of women for a few hours. I like, don't know. Ah, I think they're probably, I think more, you know, I wasn't, I, I certainly wasn't ignoring you. I think I was more afraid that you were mad at me or didn't want to talk to me. And I think that just like, I don't know. And also no I, was a, I was also a kid at the time. So I, I remember, just, like, you know, fell out of yeah. Teddy, Teddy had told me you left because so I was anti-Semitic and stuff. Yeah. And apparently she, you don't even know her that well, but I remember I was like, that can't be right. But I remember looking at your Facebook one day in college and it was like, I don't talk about this much, but I'm proud to be Jewish. And I was like, oh, yeah, he left because I he thought I was anti Semitic. Because I was First like all, slinging the K word at you as like a in a in an endearing way. You know, no, I mean? no, no. I mean, dude, that that's like, no. And also, wait, this is actually a small tangent, but we were talking about that there are tender queer audience. And also I had the I had the uh, I just saw that somebody commented on the most recent house of decline episode or something that did you see that somebody was like you guys are the new bad boys of the web comic world or something they didn't like need that. to tell me baby I and knew. i was like and i yeah and was i was like sincere i think, so. I think they were being oh, sincere no. and I, but i was also <laughs> just horrible. like i was also just like the bar is set so, so low. low i mean dude. it's like it's like seriously like i mean what are we talking about here but i but it's like like we're both um like neither of us are like hateful or racist or like bad boys in that like internet well, sense well Daff I mean, is a little bit let me speak for myself yeah, here yeah. but but uh but yeah i think the reason that our tender queer audience is kind of like vibing with us is because they can tell that when we say things that are like what you have she just doesn't like audience? tender queer i don't think we have a tender queer audience but i think <laughs> no especially maybe mixing not. with house we do have a small fraction of those people who kind of are like their interest has been peaked yeah but i think they know that we're it's all in good humor like we're not saying anything that's like unless you're filipino but uh, but every, everybody <laughs> don't listen if you're if you're filipino stop listening <laughs> anyway yeah. listen to wind this down because it is the birthday yes. girl's birthday um, write to us on beetle dog cold cuts at gmail.com. There's going to be Please. a link below, but I just want to end it with talking to our special breast. Do you, yes. do you have any final thoughts? Cause we kind of whizzed by you on the, the guy who his big expose on me was that I love trans she-cock. girlfriend. Yeah. My she can you say she cock on here or will it is <laughs> I prefer sheenus or okay. what's the big Twitter <laughs> one they call it is gawk girl cock and Ew, i'm like that is so, there's so many better that's names. not Sheenus is no better. i don't like that one hung woman <laughs> big yeah. clitty is so much better than god no. that's good yeah big clitty's no, good no. i call my big, penis big clitty big 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 clitty would be no, a good rap really name. A hey, yo bc yo bc yeah, BC. Get over here, BC. BC. big big clitty hit the gritty big wait, clitty hit anyways, the gritty so, sorry wait we're seven anyway. i think we're stepping on dust so. yeah yeah do you have do you have any final thoughts on that because i did kind of whiz by you i you kind of acknowledged that it was a little goofy I don't think any fun. Well, I was disappointed that I, he didn't um, cuz they I, every time they they go after you and then therefore go after me, they never um all of their insults for you seem somewhat unique and his imitation of your voice was true, I thought, to your to to as good of an imitation as one. Yeah, what do you mean? You know what I mean? And and then his imitation of me, he literally just did a Kermit voice. I'm like, I don't sound like that. Like if yeah. and it, it was just not fun. I wish he was meaner and yeah. more and like more Accurate. biting to me. Well, I think as a European, I really fruity like to guy, be made fun of. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hard for European fruity men to make fun of anyone because I feel like most people. I mean, I mean, oh, the yeah, whole he thing was, was European. Yeah, no, I, I don't wait. With the clip that I saw, he sounded American. Unless he no, is he, European, he's like but, he um, lives in. He has a little of an accent, I think. Yeah, he lives in Amsterdam because the chick who's oh. his girlfriend Julia has to fly out once a year. That's another thing you kind of know he's fruity. Is this his girlfriend doesn't even live in the same country? Oh, yeah. Well, and, then uh, they're not really dating. She's very much in love with him. Babe, they're not really posting dating. about how she loves white men and he's a white man. Okay, and she's definitely off, got a weird thing first, going on. What do you mean a weird thing going on? That's just plain uh, that, weird. That's yeah, not a weird that, thing. She hates that is that weird. Shit. Yeah, definitely. Here's a little juicy And I don't about. know why you were giving her any like little like uh, get out of jail free card, whatever, earlier when you were like, oh, I don't want to be mean to her. Fuck her. Again, and her large weird. Jugs. But that guy also is like, like, 
I'm sure in her country there are attractive men. Not to the sling, she lives in New York. not to she lives sling here. all of this right back to them because that's this is the same stupid stuff that they were doing to us, like calling us ugly. But like he's no prize either and to no. go out of their country because he was saying like you could be with a girl why would you go for that but she could be with any man in her country why would she like fucking choose you that's bizarre yeah. like, I think you have a she, connection she's so, to answer his question she's so pro-white man i think it's like she didn't want a white american guy she wants the proto-white wait she's from European. america she lives in new york yeah I, i'm Matthew she's Boxing american and is all obsessed with Dude, white men too uh, that's even worse a little, yeah a little bit she does Dude, do that some weird so race weird. play stuff what that, that like, is so weird like, like i mean kind of well, i feel that too because she's i don't bad. think she works for adult swimmer but she's friends with every single like spongebob animator blah 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 so part of me thinks i don't want to attribute her boyfriend being a huge fruit ball to her necessarily oh, she well, might just should. be starving for white dick you know what i mean in which case we've all done How some could crazy you be things. starving for that there's not that much there to starve for oh <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> small penis God. Small <laughs> penis. yeah uh if yeah, i was I, her I'd, I'd go after black men i just don't i i just feel all of this shit like bottom line it's just like dude stay in your lane it sounds like you've got oh, yeah. a little bit of an you've got a little bit of an audience for yourself. They love all of the fucking 1940s racist shit that you make. Just keep doing just keep doing <laughs> it. Keep doing it. Keep making it. I'll keep scrolling right past. And your and your your audience loves it apparently. I don't know if they're 10 years old or they're like, you know, uh, what R word, but it's just like just whatever, man. You have a little fucking audience. You cannot tell me shit. I'm proud of the work that I do. Can you say the same? That's that. That would be my fucking. My ancestors <laughs> are smiling at me, Imperial. <laughs> I, I, like literally, you can't tell me shit, man. I'm happy about what I do. I got a cool podcast. I got a girlfriend that lives in the same country as me, so she's real. <laughs> and and I'm also also, dude. You're 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 fat, man. Like, come on, please, please. That is a pinnacle, though, because I think you know we may want to come after this weird girlfriend relationship, but for a racist white guy. To have an equally racist black girlfriend, that's kind of like a positive thing. I feel is like he can also, wait, wait. Is she also black? black? Yeah, I think she's mixed. I think she's a little bit of the moo moo. I don't know, man. There's something Good going Lord. on. There. <laughs> the moo moo. Yeah, is that know. a racist I, term now? Yes, and was. I, oh, <laughs> oh, it was. was. Okay. Well, oh, she's, mixed. Not, she's mixed. I've never heard that, but I don't. Um. Yeah, I don't even want to. I can't even comment on any of that. That's just weird. That's weird. But if they're happy living in different countries and being like mean and hateful people fucking just whatever i would stay, stay in your you lane know, we i will give him this advice be funnier or just you know funnier. try just try to come up with because uh, it's or like meaner. i could go to any corner on the street of la and find someone like him doing like meth and saying the same stuff and like uh, yeah and it's like just uh, just do something uh, funny just do uh, if you want to be a comedian you have to do something funny you can't just spout edgy shit and say that you're joking because your audience doesn't think you're joking. I don't think you're joking. And you, d there's nothing funny. There's nothing. Well, you, never you said he, he compared me to a Kenyan because I had a small brain. No, no. I saw basically I was watching. <laughs> I got tired of watching him just shit on YouTube, like, and, and just be transphobic. And so I was like, okay, okay, where's this going? And I like fast forward. Harris like, is an it, ally. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really pretend to be like active. Like, I haven't really done anything. <laughs> I've just like, <laughs> but I, past it. What are your credentials? I, yeah, I skipped past it. But I was like, I mean, I yeah, I was like, okay, where is this going? And I skipped like 15 minutes later, and then he was saying that like he was looking at like pictures of Africans and like Kenyan people on Google Images, and I was already before he said anything, I was like, this cannot be good. And he was like, he was like talking about how Kenyans have he's like I'm, he's like i'm just saying it's science dude they have smaller brains they did a study and their brains are smaller like some some, some and i was like dude who is like who is listening to this like what is this crap like we, we, we're literally he talking about 1940s shit like he would have been shit. a banger he would have literally been the joe rogan podcast of the time if they had podcasts back when they <laughs> used to have the cranial equipment and they used literally. to like measure people's brains and be like the black man you can tell by his bone structure can't hold uh -huh. enough brain cells or whatever dude uh, it was I, when i was watching it i was like remember i had my you know how my parents didn't let me watch ed ed and eddie because they were like it's going to rot your brain yes. i got that feeling like I, I heard my own conscience telling me, like, dude, if you watch another second of this, 
your brain is going to start just like well that's how i knew it was shitty because like you said earlier you like i don't know like like but when people make fun of you you want to watch it you want to see what they say and even you were like yeah i I gave it like a few minutes but it was just so stupid i was too dumb off yeah too dumb you're good with that if they could have railed me real hard verbally and you would have sat or and watched the whole thing, or physically. Hey. I mean, dude, if he she had actually, watching. if he had actually, I don't know, done anything that was like an expose, like, did you know that Yolo Swag messaged me and he said, like, he called me, uh, the N word, the N word, yeah, or something like that. And it's like, but but he didn't do anything like that. He just was common. He was just like mystery science theater commentating on your own YouTube videos that, but just like, I was like dude, this is like not good content. Well, you here's a word you this. can get angry at me for. If he's ever listening, you're a huge fag. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the magic <laughs> word of today. Me. He used that on me. Yellow oh, right. Yeah. Yolo fag shooters. I used that first. Oh. He stole my idea. Just like the trading cards. He stole yeah. my idea. Rhyming Dr. Seuss. Not baby, know. you are so small time. We do not care. You got it. You know what? We'll beef with you. We will beef with you, and we will mention you on the. We'll bring you on, but you have to become bigger. You you can't you, you can't ha- you be ha- like right. a nobody. Hit, you know hit another mean? hit another banger tweet. Maybe you'll get like a, you know a couple thousand more followers, and then we'll pay attention to what you're saying. Dude, I'll you know what? I'll actually extend you an olive branch based on Gab on how every comment is calling people the N word. You could flourish there. Why don't mm-hmm. you switch over to Gab, dude? You could be great on fucking Gab. You could. He be like probably is. He probably is over there. Yeah, I mean, it's. Would be great. Uh, but I think I, I think that those type of creators like the hate that they get on more public forums. Like, well, I, think I you it, know what you were saying that that he was embracing that, but I really think he tanked his. I mean, like you said, you Googled him, and it was like ex Comedy Central guy fucking hates Asians. Like that yeah. was like all the news the articles. The first like, thing I, that I think shows he, up. Yeah. I think he tanked any success he had. And again, like, let me restate. I saw he was working on a comic book and it's like, it's he's excellent at drawing. I love his caricature work, but he, he couldn't even get more than 10 likes on anything he made. And it's like, no, oh. I, yeah. And it was like, I noticed even when I went to his Twitter page and I saw the, I saw the podcast that he posted. The podcast that he posted got like three likes. Like I know it's that's like, so embarrassing. Dude. I, it's just like, dude, no, get no more likes, want, and we'll talk dude, to you. Dude, get more likes. Like, get get some fucking. Anyway, wasn't this? Weren't we supposed to ask you questions at the, <laughs> at the end? Uh, yeah, I feel like we totally well, fucked up. I know up. we did. Yeah, I mean, you draw the line, babe. Right here. What line? Ow, sunburn. With uh, <laughs> what do you you know what you fucking hate? I, when Harrison and I have talked about this, you kind of were like, "Oh God, this is so boring." By what? the way, between these recordings, she was like, "So when did the joke start? <laughs> when do you guys start making jokes?" I thought we've been pretty funny, right? I don't I know, maybe so not. too, but I guess I, not. Drop a quick n word. Drop a quick n word. What's the question? What <laughs> you can you see how someone could do? But take that guy, for instance. Could someone be like him, not as far actually racist, and still be like, is there a line when it comes to that stuff? Or do you think all dudes who do that edgy content are like fucking just obviously just douchebag, racist, blah, blah, blah? I, st- I really don't get the question. Can you be edgy and not hateful? Sure. Okay. But I, what? Yeah. How but, are you but, defining edgy? And also everyone who makes content in that way should kill themselves, including you two. Um, <laughs> Harris doesn't do that stuff. Harris doesn't do. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying edgy things. I mean, like caring about like and th- calling things content and like being a content. Okay, creator well then is, you are okay, included. That, not yes, a life so. to live. We should yes, both kill ourselves. That, I, I, that's true. I, I, the way I live my life, I don't need to draw a line because I'm in reality and I'm mm-hmm. not online where people are debating what I say. Yes. Every, nothing that I say gets debated because I speak to because <laughs> I speak to real human people. <laughs> Yeah. Rarely. I mean, I don't talk to anyone. But... My gay little friends in my cell phone are real. Yeah, okay, exactly. Harris is proof. Like, I don't have to go out and prove to a tender queer or a ten year old that I'm funny. Like, my my friends think I'm funny, mm-hmm. so I don't care about drawing the line. Tell us I joke. won't draw the line. Make us laugh. N word no, joke. Do no, it. Tell it. No, I'm also not a comedian, and I would kill myself. If that was like something I wanted to be. <laughs> well, people seem to yeah. think you're funnier than I am. No, it could be our tender queer, the sissy hip. I think crowd. it's the trannies. I, I think they just want to be on my side. Yeah, mm-hmm. just because big, big clitty. Well, it's big clitty. typically, and maybe tender queer is a good word for these people too. But in my real life, 
um, like younger, typically trans, but sometimes gay, just, just gay people like l- look up to me without really knowing me because I think literally I'm like, or no, 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 because I think I'm like mysterious and cool <laughs> because I'm a miser. Um, and I, what does I that don't mean? know why I'm bringing this up, but I think <laughs> like lone wolf. No, not okay. lone wolf, like a bitch. <laughs> I think he might be a more. Oh, that's what miser means. Yeah, miser is like a crotchety man who lives alone. I think. Yeah, but I'm a woman, so I'm a bitch. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Uh, okay, okay. A crotchety old man. If it was a woman, would be a crotchety old bitch, right? Uh, I think crotchety old cunt has more. Better okay, whatever. I, but Alliteration. anyway, um, they think I'm like mysterious and cool, and so they like think that there's something to look up to, and I think that same thing happens online, where like people think that I'm. Because I because I'm not necessarily the stereotypical like uh, I don't know what stereotypical trans person is like Laverne Cox <laughs> that's like my only reference. That stereotypical. Like, we have to make room for our family that you choose and the love is love and I I don't care for any of that so I think that's maybe wh- why they're so attracted to it. Because you're interesting. Cool I'm alternative. I'm alternative. Alternative <laughs> trans chick. Okay, we're yes. starting instead of the alt right. We're starting the alt trans. Movement, Honestly, okay? it's just based on what you said. I was like, right on, dude. Fuck yeah. Fuck Laverne Cox, man. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah, no, she nah. does. But I'm no, like, no, she does. it's it's she's a uh, marketable. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I'm not. I get in that. terrible at acting. That last movie we saw her in, well, she's I'm oh, sure she's good shit. in Orange that is the was New Black, so but she bad. plays that movie, the that whole movie, you know, the classic stereotype black best friend that they seem to do in movies sometimes. Uh huh, she plays like the barista's best friend. She had like seven or she eight, is lines, a barista but too. it was just like she's is a barista in real life. No, in the movie, oh, I was in like, real I life, just, she's like, just trying to make it. Famous barista. <laughs> is Hollywood that hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a funny story that, um. You know, who's the guy who was in Taxi Driver? Uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. He had recently won an award, and then he was, to get into the character for Taxi Driver, he actually drove taxi cabs, and he picked up a young actor, and the young actor apparently had a panic attack because, you know, Robert De Niro just won an award, and then here he was driving taxis, and he was like, is this really what, like, being an actor is going to be like? Like, I could win the fucking Academy Award, oh and I'm still going to have to fucking drive taxi cabs up and down the street. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, How do you feel about Robert De Niro. Uh, no strong feelings. I don't. You like uh, short really? guys, though. What is he in? I've never seen he's Taxi in, Driver. He's in like Goodfellas. I mean, he's, meet the he's parents, in a ton right? of shit. I've yeah, never meet the seen those movies. Meet the Fockers. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, well, I saw the Irishman. Well, I saw the first yes. hour of the Irishman. <laughs> yes. And it's I, a long ass movie. I heard the CGI was ass. Yeah, it was. It, I love uh, Martin Scorsese, and I and the Irishman. It's funny. She I like Martin Scorsese. You don't get her started. <laughs> oh, she really? Well, I know anything he, that like males that's like, like a she's bro. Like, gay. Yeah. That's gay. not true. And I do. Yeah. Sopranos. Gay. Sopranos. Yeah. The so- Sopranos is just like really. Watch your this fucking. Is, this mouth. is what I don't like about it. Okay. The only thing that I don't particularly like about it is that there seems to be this like level of like prestige and like honor given to it. When I feel like if it was just like, oh, this is like casual, like nice show to watch, then yeah. I'd be fine with you liking it. But People, I mean, it's not well written. Like, a lot of the actors are not good. And the it's so excellent. obvious. It's so obvious. Yeah. I mean, it's literally, I don't know how many times I have to parody it, but her going, you, you need to have emotions, you meatball. You, we have a family yeah. and, you're, and you're, you're just a suppressed emotional man and blah, blah, blah. But and the, the therapy, it's like, the therapy is horrible. It, yeah. The therapy is horrible. Where She's like, goaded with the jokes. Direct symbolism, the ducks. It's like, fucking kill yourself. Do you yeah. really have to hit somebody over the head with that? And I get maybe for the 90s, it was like a thing, but um, it was it does feel they, literally the it only feels good actress in it is, is the, the woman genie no, the blonde. Yeah. What's her name in real life? Genie, I think I don't the know. nurse Jackie I'm nurse like Jackie. Yeah, yeah, that's her, her. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, like I, I mean, also, gay, I think also it's one of those things I had to say, but, you know, like James Gandolfini died and I think when somebody dies it's like a part of some cultural thing all of a sudden it elevates the work like it's like oh my god like yeah like Mexicans believe- acting like Selena is the the pinnacle of music I thought you liked Selena I do but Jesus Christ let the bitch die she still wins billboard awards all right if you're like, listening she's dead crazy. people <laughs> chance the yeah. rapper if you're listening and you want people to actually like your music again kill yourself <laughs> Oh, that's that's the true. If you're listening, Chance, so kill yourself. Dude, the most <laughs> yeah. important thing he's done recently is he's collabing with Ben and Jerry to make a new ice cream. 
and it's literally just mint chocolate chip with brownies. Like, are you that unoriginal? Like, you, that, that does sound really flavor. That Sounds does good. sound really good. It does though. sound good. So, Fuck you guys. You I think you act, you actually just did a really you good saw, ad for that. that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like about to Google that. Dude, because. Ben and Jerry are so funny because you know they did this on purpose, but it's they funnier. took the worst. Ben is funnier, actually. Jerry is <laughs> funny, but the fact they took the shittiest nighttime TV show host Jimmy Fallon and then gave him the best ice cream flavor, his entire career is dwarfed by the flavor of ice cream. Yes. Like he is literally an ant compared to how good the ice cream is. He sucks ass. He yes. He does, does not fucking deserve the tonight dough. Dude, one yeah, of my buddies, one of my buddies was so obsessed with that ice cream flavor on multiple occasions. I used to watch him just eat a pint of it for dinner. Like he would just finish the, and I was like, you're talking to a little lady who has me order two at a time. So trust me, I've witnessed, I've witnessed this multiple times. My Wait, friend, I was, not just I was for, dinner. for dinner. I have it after, after dinner. After dinner, the whole off. pint, dude. It's unreal. God and let me just say, damn, girl. Let me just say, she's lactose intolerant and she does not tolerate the lactose. Oh, God. Out there, I was wondering, where can I find these, the Nico Cotto avocado videos of Daphne where she's like eating 20 oh, oh, at it, a it time. Was, uh, it was on YouTube. It was on the uh, Instagram live, so I don't oh, think they so have they're, them, bro. So they're we'll lost do one. We'll to do the one. sands of time. Yeah, you should definitely do another mukbang. Yeah, where can I find and where can I find the big clitty pictures? Just so I can, uh, yeah, where they're can I find the those right two? Now. They really are. Yeah, I remember the funniest part is when people first found out we were dating and they were trying to like do an expose because she was trans. The amount of people who posted the picture and were like, "Look at this disgusting creature," and then a bunch of right wing faggots were like. Oh, dude, she's actually kind of hot. Like, dude, dude, she's hot. And I remember you had a guy hit you up. Didn't this relates back? Didn't a guy say, because we're so right wing, we would rather date a trans woman yeah, than he did an actual say that. woman? He did. Say so that. I think some that's guy. a thing some right wing guys are into where it's like, I hate women so much. I'll only date trans women. Dude, we're also I, debating I, if I was. Yeah, I remember people were asking for proof of your penis. And then I gave it to them. Yeah, they <laughs> love I, it. They loved dude, it. I, I really do. I mean, it's just a low hanging fruit at this point to even say it. But dude, it's Daphne, like, don't call her that. <laughs> no, uh, that's funny actually. But I, there's like a. It's so obvious that that these some of these right wing like gay hater dudes are just gay. Like it's like come come yeah, on. Yeah. And I like, do. Well, I what hate saying because I feel like how when I used to say all left wing people, <laughs> I know it's not all right wing. A lot of right wing guys I'm friends with. It's it's a uh, it's a sector of people who just push it too far. Just like people on the left push it too far. So anyone listening who's right wing, I love you. We're not making fun. Oh of you yeah, no, you're. No, but you know what? We are making fun of you. Just grow a pair. Who cares? What does yeah, it matter we if we're making we fun go. of you? Like, I mean, and we'll make fun of we make fun of lefty people too. It's just like fucking take it, bro. Who yeah, cares? Squizzy, we're coming for you. Yeah, I, I we, think House was a little offended by the the clip we chose to post. Why uh, the, the threatening? I don't know because I just noticed he only retweeted the second half of it and didn't say anything oh, about the fighting. Thing. He was just like, "Well, I we're do, talking about stuff." I also do think that he just doesn't want to show his face that much. Like, I think he's. I don't like, think so because he he has it on his. Well, maybe it's just like a Patreon. It's his Patreon thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, I would say he has a ton of followers, and I would say a lot of them don't know what he. I mean, dude, it's like I fucking you know why I've been on the podcast with him multiple times, but before we recorded the last one, I had no idea what he looked. Like. He's just a yeah, faceless was, uh, penis man. Yeah, I know. I had an image of what he looked like in my head, and then he actually did not really look like what I expected him to look like. Yeah. But listen, Harris, this has been exciting. We may be able to film yeah, one last vacation episode. Daphne and I are definitely, oh, that was the look that we may not be able to film one last vacation episode. But uh, no, anyway, this was hype. <laughs> Beetle Dog Cold Cuts at gmail.com. Yes. Where can us- we find you? Beetle Moses at Twitter and Instagram, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm Yolo Swag Studios, Twitter and Instagram. I think I'm Daff Cunt on Instagram. Oh, oh no, that's- on Twitter. And Daff. Faggot, da uh, faggot, da faggot, da faggot, but with a ph. <laughs> so funny the oh, way the, pH, the like way Daphne. trans women can just make fun of themselves is inspiring. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot your little sunburn on the booby. But uh, it, it, thank you for listening. If you've watched all this way, t- if you've listened this far, happy birthday, Daphne! I love your big clitty. Type that yes. in the comments just so <laughs> we know it. you're listening. Please drop Any a big clitty in the chat. Yes. Any questions? Yeah, and uh, yeah, this was crispy. I I hope to see you again soon, my friend. Absolutely. I'll hit you up. All right. right, We got to end on something funny. Hit us with a rape joke, Dev. No.